You don't. You don't. You don't. Well, you can. The phantom who haunted you. He's on his way. He's on his way. Get out. Get out. Welcome to another video here on Phantom of Haunted Hill. Well, hey, Heather, folks. Long time no see, huh? I apologize for that. I've had uh, some medical stuff going on, and uh, I'm actually happy that this week I have not had to deal with that crap. Although next week it starts again. <laughs> well, I can't even do it. That's what you get for being so handsome like the Phantom. By the way, welcome and thank you. Got, of course, our trusty... Uh, Drunken skeleton sidekick, Mr. Hambone. What's up, Hambone? Nothing. Nothing. All right. Good, good for you. You got any Jack Daniels over there? No. Okay, well, why don't you go drink? Let me do this video. Okay. Good skelly. Oh, by the way... I just wanted to say, F you, Mr. Whipple. <laughs> you have to be old to get that. Anyway, there's a lot of things going on, I guess, besides some medical stuff. So far, nothing too, too serious. Just bullshit that you have to go and deal, do, and you know what I mean. But anyway... So, uh, of course, I've noticed I have 104 videos, which is weird because I didn't think I had that many. <laughs> Close, but not that many. I must have forgot to save some of them. <laughs> so we're what I'm going to do because of this shit going on, we're going to skip the live broadcast because no one really cares anyway. Really? I mean... <laughs> Maybe if I would have started off this channel doing that, it would be a different story. But why change now? Although we could in the future. But today we're going to talk. Oh, what else did I want to say? Yeah, I'm putting up some music video songs that the Phantom is sick and tired of having to dig out through his collection just to listen to stuff. Which is rare anymore <laughs> because I do those two radio shows. But, uh. So yeah, I'm enjoying making videos of songs that need to be put on YouTube anyway. And I also am going to be doing, uh, putting up some videos, some broadcast of uh, an old radio show I did with my wife, Stella, called Domestic Decay. There's some political stuff. We had celebrities. We had movie stars. We had all kinds of people on there. <laughs> but uh, the first one I'm making... And I'm working on right now is the Big Chuck and Inter <laughs> Big Chuck and Little John interview that we did on our show. It was they came down live. They're horror movie hosts here in Cleveland. They're huge. They're extremely important. If you don't know about them, you should. But anyway, today we're going to talk about <sighs> a movie or two. Let's do two. Who killed Captain Alex? <laughs> Who killed Captain Alex? Now, you do know from seeing reviews of Squirm Fest and other filth that the Phantom has in his collection <laughs> that the Phantom enjoys weird, strange films. So, I have heard about these films made in Africa. I understand Nigeria puts out more movies 
than Hollywood does here in America. <laughs> I haven't seen any of those yet. I couldn't find any of them. And of course, I don't have my list. I had a, no, wait a minute. My list is right here. The Nigerian movies I was looking for, 666, Beware, the end is at hand. <laughs> and uh, Girl Slaves of Morgana Le Fay. That sounds really interesting. <laughs> but lo and behold, I can't find any Nigerian films. However, I did find some Ugandan films. Films made in Uganda. The first one is Who Killed Captain Alex? I was doing searches on my Roku, you know, and this one came up. I'm like, oh, fuck, man, this is awesome. This is going to be good. I can't wait to see this. And it was on Tubi for free. So, hey, man, thank you, Tubi. Whipping out the obscure classics, huh? <laughs> So anyway, uh, I watched Who Killed Captain Alex. This film is fucking phenomenal. <laughs> it is the most non-stop action movie you have ever seen. It's got everything. Kung Fu. As a matter of fact, there's a, an, a, a narrator... He doesn't narrate the film like, well, now Johnny is going. No, he makes wisecracks and like funny little sayings, kind of like Mystery Science Theater, Theater 3000. But you don't see the guy. We're watching the movie and you can read what's really being said. But then it also comes up what he's saying. But you can understand him clearly, even though he's got that Ugandan accent. And this guy is like the Rodney Dangerfield of Uganda. <laughs> He's he calls himself VJME, VJME. <laughs> so he's narrating who killed Captain Alex. So this is uh, made by Ramon, Ramon, R A M O N, kind of like the Ramones missing the E. Raymond Film Productions, Wakali Wakaliwood, Uganda, <laughs> home of the best of the best movies. <laughs> yes, indeed. So basically, this film was just nonstop crazy action, and there was some funny parts. First of all, it's about uh, Captain Alex. And I was just having, I was so overwhelmed with the fact I found this film that I wasn't really paying attention to the story, if there was one. I know that uh, Captain Alex went to go after Tiger Mafia. Now, I don't know if Tiger Mafia was a guy or a group. <laughs> and even at the end of the film, we still don't know who killed Captain Alex. <laughs> And it even says it across the screen. But uh, it's a great movie. Yes, indeed, it is. Like, it's got it's got kung fu. It's got nonstop, as I said, action, shootings, galore, man. CGI. The CGI is, is like a video game animation. It is so funny. And I guess the person who made these... The, these films, I haven't mentioned the second one yet. Nab Nabwana IGG. He uh, made made uh, Who Killed Captain Alex, and I, I understand he didn't think it would be shown outside of his village. And here, now it's like a cult classic. If I had the money, man, maybe we can get like Vinegar Syndrome or somebody to release this, these on DVD. We'll get to the second movie. Don't worry. <laughs> They're connected. <laughs> so it's very funny. Like the one guy's doing uh he's doing kung fu and the and VJME is like, oh, he's the Ugandan Bruce Lee. Bruce you <laughs> and it's just 
And then he starts making fun of one of the guys. What do you watch, Nigerian cinema? You are only to watch Ugandan c- c- cinema. It's it's way funnier than what I'm making it out to be. It really is very, very good. Which leads us to a film that I did pay more attention to because this one actually had a storyline besides nonstop crazy action and Captain Alex getting killed. This movie was mentioned in Who Killed Captain Alex at the end. This movie's called Bad Black. And this is this one's even better. <laughs> this one's even better. It's on Tubi too. Same same filmmakers. Uh, and it's kind of a comp it's a, I'm doing I'm gonna do the best I can and I'm not giving it anyway any spoilers because I want you guys to see these boom <laughs> so let's talk about bad black the, by the way these movies are only an hour and a, a couple minutes each so why Tubi runs two commercial breaks during it is beyond me <laughs> but you know what can you do for free to see awesome fucking movies like this <laughs> So this movie, Bad Black, has even more CGI action, especially at the beginning. One guy, it looks like he got shot in his butthole, and I could swear that these shootings look like these people are really getting shot. But then when you when you start looking a little closer, you see the CGI. It's just where it's placed and how it goes, way better than Hollywood does here, you know? And it, the CGI is just ridiculously funny. Like a car turns over upside down and it kind of just goes like this. <laughs> and the CGI goes throughout the film. So this one, a little girl, she runs away after her uncle is telling the grandma to throw her out that she's too much trouble. So the little girl hears this and she runs away. And she begins as a little child working for this, this man and this woman, stealing and selling stuff and bringing the money to them. So they got this whole group of little kids who are stealing, getting the money and coming home and saying, here you go. Well, our poor little girl, she goes, she sees a tire iron because some guy is changing his uh, car tire. This is all going to be connected together. <laughs> I'll try not to confuse everyone. But this guy turns out to be someone in her family. And I guess she doesn't really know him. But we'll get to that later on in the film. So this guy catches her stealing the tire iron and he just starts smacking and beating the crap out of her and screaming at her. And, and the one guy's like, you know, she must be hungry. And she's like, I didn't know. You know, she didn't know that. She just saw a piece of thing, steel laying in there in the, in the road. And she knew she had to come back back with money. So she, she was doing her job, right? <laughs> That's what she was sent out to do. After all, why would this man and this woman, full of grown adults, why would they go to work? They got all these homeless kids and do the work for them. So our little girl, she's got some money. This woman comes by and starts accusing her of stealing her money. Now she didn't. Because all the kids were getting paid, they, you know. <clears throat> so she has to go back with no money. They immediately accuse her of stealing from them. And, and the guy says that he's a commando and he'll kill her. So he goes into, into a room. He comes back out a couple seconds later with a gun. And he aims it at her. 
And this little boy like jumps in the front, you know, trying to like protect her somehow. And little he, he shoots the little boy. So later that evening, the guy's asleep. Our little girl comes and she takes the gun. And he wakens up and he's like, you cannot kill me. I'm a commando. So, boom, <laughs> right in the face. Classic. Ten years later. <laughs> That's right. Ten years later. Let me turn my notes here. <laughs> Ten years later. The little girl is now the leader of the homeless gang. And her name is Bad Black. Yes. And she's beautiful, by the way. <laughs> the beautiful Ugandan princess. Oh, you got to see it just for that. <laughs> but anyway. So she, uh, there's a doctor in around who's helping take care of, you know, doing, me giving medicine and take, helping the people and take, trying to take care of them. And um, Bad Black, she, she sees him and she decides she's going to trick him and, uh, you know, to get his money and all of his belongings. So, and she sees he's got a necklace with dog tags on it. Now, the guy that was going to kill her as a child had dog tags on, and he said that he was a commando. Now, Bad Black, as an adult, sees this guy, and the, and the dog tags are actually his father's. And his father died, and that's why he wears them. Well, she doesn't know this. She sees it, and she associates it with commandos. And as she says... I hate commandos. So she sets the guy up on the street who beat her. This is the guy I was telling you about there who's uh, turned out to be a family member. We'll find, we'll get to that. <laughs> the guy who beat her in the street as a child, she she sets him up because he, he sees her and he goes and he hits on her and so it turns out, let me see my notes here. Yeah, she sees him, so forth and so on. He has he has to take off, so she refuses to give her phone number. She'll she says, I'll see you if it's meant to be. And boy, it's meant to be. <laughs> Wait to hear. So anyway. Uh, let's see here. So big bad black. Uh, <laughs> let's see here she uh, steals well after she meets with this guy she, she ends up stealing everything from the doctor because he was stupid enough to give her give her uh, his contacts and information so she goes into his safe and everything else takes it all and uh, he had told the little boy about the dog tags and then she even took his dog tag. So the little boy, um, he says, well, since, you know, since your father was a commando, it's in your blood. And it's so funny. This is the most hilarious, at least five to eight minutes of the film, nonstop hilarious. The kid uh, gives some commando training. This little boy is given this big guy, <laughs> the American guy, commando training. And it is hilarious. He's like slapping the hell out of the American guy. And goes, <laughs> He's even teaching him Kung Fu, breaking out in stanzas. and <laughs> It's so funny. So he eventually graduates his class, I guess you could say, <laughs> after having the shit kicked out of him <laughs> by this little boy. And, of course, the doctor puts that into good use. He shaves his head. Doesn't even look like the same guy. I, I, I still refuse to believe it was the same actor. 
but probably was. <laughs> I don't know. Didn't look like him being with no hair. But uh so yeah, he goes after uh bad black. He wants his father's he wants his dog tags back. So while that's going on, Bad Black sets up that guy that beat her as a child after he, he proposes to her. So this is probably the second time since she's an adult that he's seen her. And uh, and he, he tells her she, that she, he wants her to give him a son, to give him a child. And he's so stupid. And she like, she, she tricks him. She, and uh, she says, well, you know, that she needs all of his money to raise their son. And he's like, oh, we can go tomorrow. <laughs> and this moron gives her everything he owns. Okay. <laughs> he's really bright. So it turns out he's related to her. And the uncle that kicked her out of the house as a kid, he recognizes her as an adult when they, they go up to meet because he's w with this guy. And he recognizes her and he says that that he'll make her homeless like he did as, as a child. So what does she do? She takes two guns and shoots him. Of course, uh, the guy that proposed, he's running away. I'm not sure if it was supposed to be her grandfather. That's what I'm gathering. But I wasn't sure. So <laughs> I didn't say it. So anyway, turns out Bad Black has been giving all of this money to the people in the ghetto where she, where her and those kids grew up. And the police don't like it. And they don't even know that the Bad Black is a woman, <laughs> let alone a good looking one. And the doctor goes on a mission to get his dog tags back, as I said. And after chaos ensues, more fighting and kung fu and shootings. And, <laughs> uh, um, and then he uh, gets his dog, dog tags back. And then he, he shows her to the police and he's like, she's bad black. <laughs> Next scene. Wakaliwood Supa Prison for Dicey Women. <laughs> That's what it flashes on the screen. And there's four women in the prison, one of which is Bad Black, and she gets attacked immediately. And um, she's basically saying that she, you're mine, and she's trying to get her to, you know, lick something. And, uh, <laughs> So bad, uh, bad black bribes her with something sweet, and she goes, "Well, can you give me that sweet? It better be real sweet." And she hands her a wad of cash, and she's like, "Yo, you, you must really be bad black, because you know she's a legend throughout the ghetto. She helps everybody, you know." So. um I'm going to let you guys watch it on Tubi. I'm not going to spoil the ending. <laughs> but we do get, and I don't think they made this film, but it comes at the end. Are you ready for eaten alive in Uganda? <laughs> like it's going to be the third in the trilogy or something. Those are great movies. They are awesome and i'm going to be checking out more ugandan cinema yes these were not horror i you can they maybe they fall in the realm of exploitation fun i don't know whatever they're great movies rather watch those than what's out in, in the theaters in america today i'll tell you that right now right hand bone right hand bone trunk Bad black got your tongue. <laughs> Told you not to screw around, man. That's what you get for being an alcoholic skeleton. Anyway, this is the Phantom. I'll, I want to do more videos, and I, I'm going to try to do that. I'll be making more videos. I'll be posting old radio shows. I'll be 
we'll get to the stuff like this. But as I said, you know, next week I start the doctor. Uh, I have a doctor's visit and uh, then uh, some other stuff. <laughs> it's just, you know, I think I'm going to grow my own organs. That's what I'm going to do. Yes, indeed. Get John Lord from Deep Purple show me how to grow a decent organ. <laughs> so I could play it. And, uh, and then I'll do I'll join Deep Purple because they are still together. And uh, I'll do the John Lord parts. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this is the Phantom of Haunting Haunted Hill saying thank you for watching. My apologies once again. And uh give this video a like. Hit the subscribe button. I'm glad to see that this channel is final. After this will be 105 videos according to YouTube. Not according to the ones I have, but <laughs> I have to figure out which ones I didn't save. But anyway, yes indeed. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you guys next time right here on Phantom of Haunted here oh wait a minute wait let me i'm gonna do this right so i gotta take a drink ham bone did you put that mr hyde serum in my drink Turn me invisible there. Must have been the invisible man serum. All right, we'll see you guys <laughs> next time here on Phantom of Haunted Hill.